What is up everybody, Bub back with another OU Live, and today we are recording with my RMT. So this is my Lando Webs. Um, I just put it out, uh, it would mean, I'm gonna put the link to it in the description, but it would mean a lot if you went and checked it out. I, I put a lot of effort into this, this is my first RMT. But uh, yeah, so I figured I'd ladder with it as a special occasion, you know, it just dropped. And um, there's a suspect going on, so Iron Moth means Landorus lead. Okay, they lead Bolt. That should be fine, right? Because I can sub up, and if they Draco, we're in a really good spot here. <clears throat> we should be in a really good spot here. That was probably the... <laughs> I mean, it is a fresh, like, suspect. It seems like this guy probably got his team and isn't 100% sure how to use it. Um, Because I don't think Bolt was a really good lead into any of our guys. Or maybe this guy just knows something I don't. But um, what he should have done there is, um, I think... Rillaboom's a fine lead. Ogre Pond's like pretty solid. Okay, so they're gonna go ahead and Terra already. And they're gonna Calm Mind. Alright, perfect. We should be safe to just start dropping EQs. Hopefully we 2 it KO. Uh, Moth is what I would have led into my team. It's really, really strong. But I, again, accounted for that with Lando. Um, yeah, Moth always trades positively into this team. And there's not a whole lot you can do about it. You can put Psychic on uh, Rabombi, but I like Skill Swap better. Uh oh, we might have to get the Devious Roll. We might have to get the devious roll. Um, I'm going to go for it. 75% chance to kill. Let's just run it. Let's just run it. Alright. So, two bottom rolls. Literally two min rolls. Two min rolls. That's awesome. Two min rolls. Um, I kind of want rocks. They have Terra Blast Water. Okay, no, I'm not getting rocks. Um, but I am going to go into treads and just go ahead and drop a rapid spin. <clears throat> maybe earth power is just better actually but what if gambit's balloon i want a rapid spin i want a rapid spin here i definitely want to get rocks up especially now that um we know he's he's burnt terra looks like it's gonna either be a dark rye or ogre pond win here um maybe gold can put in work i really do need to get these webs up for moth i'm not gonna lie but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there we have almost 800 speed nothing's outspeeding us Hopefully it just goes into Ogre Pond. We can get our rocks up for Moth. <clears throat> this, on this game's honestly not looking too great for us, but we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work. All right, I really like rocks here. I'm definitely going to click them. Hopefully he just wood hammers. So that would put me in a really good spot because I can get the webs up next. So Grassy Glide is kind of unfortunate. Um, Might not even die. I'm just going to go ahead and Steel Beam in case we don't die. I'm perfectly okay with that. Yeah, it is looking like Dark Rise is going to be our win con here. We just need to kill the Moth first. So he gets his roll. Wait, what, was that even a roll? Yeah, it was a pretty good roll in his favor. All right, and now we can go ahead and put up the webs. I don't even know how much Grassy Glide does to me. Probably like, yeah, two AKs for sure. Very unfortunate. <laughs> because we're gonna have to sack something else. Oh man. Dude, Rillaboom's a menace. Rillaboom is a menace. We have all our hazards up. So we're in a good spot now. I wish we still had Orlando. It looks really incredible here. Unfortunately, um, he did Terra, so that is un unlucky. Uh, okay, if I Terra Darkrai, I'm in a bad spot. I guess I go... I think I go Golden Go here. I think I go Golden Go, and I just drop a D-Gleam. I think he... No, I'll just drop a Shadow Ball. No need to overpredict. I don't need to overpredict anything. I can drop a really free Shadow Ball. Moth probably gets 2 it KO'd after Rocks, probably, I say. Because I have no idea. <laughs> All right, yep. All right, we're just able to Shadow Ball again. Moth does get to a Kato after rocks. Okay. I had to fact check it. Yeah, so I don't, I don't mind the spot we're in. It doesn't look great. Like we are down a lot of Pokemon, but um, like the last two Pokemon are two Ubers. So, Wellspring and Darkrai. So in comes Over God. I think I will just D Gleam here. If he sucker punches, that lets Ogre Palm win, basically. So, hopefully he does that. Okay, so he doesn't sucker punch. Does he SD? No, he just kowtows. Perfectly fine. I'm going to go into Dark Ride, and we're just going to hit our Focus Blast real quick. Surely we don't lose the first game. <laughs> I really, really need this Gambit dead. I really need this thing dead. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, okay, we should win from here. I think we can tear our Dark Rye and just close it out. In comes Ogre Guy. If I tear, okay, I need to Ice Beam here. 
I need to get a roll. But Power Whip doesn't even kill me, so... They're put in a pretty bad spot. We're struggling to win in the thousands after I talk shit about his lead. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what happens. That's what happens. Talk shit, get hit. And we got fucking rolled. Almost. We are we are fine here. Fortunately, he terra If he didn't Terra there, this would be a way closer game. Also, if he has Vacuum Wave, actually. <laughs> okay, no, we're fine. GG to this guy. Could also be bad if it's Agility. But I think if I save... Symbolism. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start queuing up the next game. Yeah, because we Dark Pulse and then Terra, Water, Ivy, Cudgel, and we're fine. What happened here? Okay, no agility. Yeah, we're so fine. And that is the game. Now we're playing some sort of balance? Um... Looks like they're gonna get webs. I might just lead Shofu and get rocks, I think. We'll go ahead and do that. They led really good. They they read they they led very goodly. I was not expecting a Clodzire, I was definitely expecting a Smeargle. That makes me think it is not lead Smeargle, and it is the um the tidy up population bomb one, which is kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. And we get a lot of chip on the Clodzire. Which is very, very nice. If he wants to go Glide Score, that's also fine with me. I can definitely just Steel Beam. Um, he's going to start burning Recovers. Perfectly fine. I mean, we're just looking for Chip, so Ogre Pond can go crazy. We get a crit. Beautiful, beautiful crit. And he just takes us out there. Um, I don't really care about webs here. I'm just going to go into Peso Pete now and sub up. I don't think he'll stay in, and if he does, he Toxics. So we should get a free sub here. Yep, in comes Gliscor. I'm absolutely going to Swords Dance. He cannot do anything to me unless he has Knock or Facade. He probably is Facade on a team like this, I'm not going to lie. Taunt! So you're fast Taunt. That's interesting. That is so interesting. Alright. Interesting. So at least we don't have to worry about Facade. Very likely we don't have to anyways. I don't know for sure. He doesn't really have any switch-ins. We are just going to attack. Okay, he sees the... He sees the smackdown, he decides to forfeit. Uh, again, uh, if you guys could check out my RMT, maybe leave a like. Leave a like for your boy, maybe a comment. I would have really appreciate it. Again, this is something I spend a lot of time on. So this guy is a dastardly electric terrain team, I'm not even going to lie. I am definitely getting webs up turn one, I cannot deal with this guy. Oh, okay. This could be Scarf. Eight. If it's Scarf, I might just hold that. Hmm... Do I lose? I'm just gonna do it. Okay, nice. Very, very beautiful. We needed those webs so bad. So badly. Okay, yep, and now we're gonna get our rocks for the moth. And also Lucha and anything like that. I have a Discord message. <laughs> my friend sent me a GoFundMe to buy my other friend a Tarkov, bro. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not donating to his GoFundMe. Alright, so Aloe comes out here. Perfectly fine with me. Um, I'm gonna Earth Power. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna Earth Power. Oh, dude, that was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't know why he did that. Oh, that's a dead pin Kirchen. I was not expecting that. Okay, so he's going to Encore, maybe? I think I just go for the Steel Beam regardless. That's fine. Because I was gonna switch out there, like, regardless. Um... He should not be able to kill me with anything, so I think... Do I Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam? Do I lose to this thing? I'm just gonna make it rain. Perfect. Hopefully this picks up the kill. I really need it to. Alright, perfect, perfect, perfect. He can now go Tusk. He can't spin, though. So, I'm just gonna get my chip with Dazzling Gleam. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful chip. And, okay, so he's likely going to want to Terra out of his weakness. I think I am going to go Ogre Pawn, and if he tears into a resist, let's say he's Terra Water for whatever reason. And we tear. okay. I mean, do these, nah, these, the, would he be Terra Water on this team? Definitely not. So I'm just going to go into this, and I'm just going to drop a Cudgel. If he tears out of it, then he tears, hang on, let, it, let me see if he Terra Poisons if he lives. 
He does. Yeah, I'm just gonna Terra Cudgel. Please, Terra Poison. Alright, that's also fine. Web stay up. And, uh... This Terra looks really good here anyways. This is definitely going to hurt. Um, I can just go into Shofu, though. That's fine. Does a lot. Definitely does a lot, but we get the chip we need. Okay, no, we don't. Oh, and we get another forfeit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, alright, yo. The suspect test is going, going pretty good. Knock on wood. Alright, Sun. Sun is a difficult matchup. For sure. Um, however, I can just get webs up. Because he doesn't have a magic bouncer. They usually have it. They don't this time. Spin? Okay, no spin. Perfect. I'm going to go into Golden Go. Just because I want to keep the webs up. Yep. And I just Shadow Ball into a KO. Oh, they crit me. That is tough. That is very, very tough. Um... Okay, so Peso Pete kills Fizz Def. I think I'll just go for it. I'll just go for it. I really don't want to see a Terra here, but I could I could see it coming out. Oh, that's perfect. That is so perfect. You're not, dude. <laughs> you are not Scarf. You're not Scarf Booster Speed. That is not that's not real. You're dead. You're dead. Be grass? No. Why would he go into this? I don't understand. He does have a resist to my coverage, which is kind of crazy. Usually they don't have that. Grass fighting type. Don's gonna give me shit for that if he watches this far into the video. By the way, if you're watching this far into the video, remember to subscribe. I'm on my way to a million subscribers. He also has a bug. That bug is kind of scary. Probably sunny day, actually. Never mind. It's probably a sunny day bug. In comes Lilligant. That thing is terrifying. Um, I mean, I might just Terra and Earthquake this. Is that bad? Rocks are up. That is bad. I mean, this thing's kind of crazy to me. I think I could sack B at this point and just hope he isn't able to remove later. Ice Spinner. Okay, perfect. We're burning his sun. Um, I'm gonna skill swap in case they set up and take away his chlorophyll. Oh uh, no, I just moonblast. I just moonblast. They'd have to Terra if they want to set up, which is, is also fine. We can stun spore this. We can definitely stun spore this. I will definitely. Ooh, I don't have a spin blocker really. <laughs> I need to keep that in mind and position well for that. Um, I'm taking away his ability in case it is uh, unaware. He's just magic guard. That's fine. And I'm going to go into treads. I need to get rid of these rocks. They're very annoying here. If he goes Torkoal, I think I will Terra just to um, guarantee spin block in case they Terra. Okay, they Fire Blast. Very interesting. Very, very cool set they have. I'm just going to Steel Beam and get the kill on Clefable. And be able to position very well with Landorus. They come out with Torkoal. I'm just going to Earthquake here. It does what I need it to do versus Lilligan. Was this Life Orb? I don't remember. It was not. That is annoying. Uh, okay. I don't like to see that. I think I might go Darkrai because it's Prankster immune here. And hopefully it's not Lunge or whatever. Yep, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We can go ahead and... And we're going to Terra anything else. Yeah, we're going to Terra Fire Lando, so I will not Terra this. However, if they go into Lilligant, I'm, yeah, I'm going to Terra this. I'm going to Terra my Darkrai 100%. 100% Terra. I'm just going to throw off a Sludge Bomb. Perfect. Oh, it's slower. Is that not Chlorophyll, or is it just not that guy? <laughs> Bro, zero speed invest. Here comes Moth. Okay, I don't like that you have not revealed the item. Meteor Beam. I think he's revealed his item. So we can go into Peso Pete, or we can go into Ham Sandwich. Ham Sandwich doesn't kill, we can't go to Ham Sandwich. We will go to Peso Pete, and we'll just drop a Fat Earthquake. We don't have a... Mm. Okay. We don't have a switch in to Trick anymore. Oh yeah, we do. We have Ogre Pond. We can't get tricked on Ogre Pond, and then we can go back into 
Yeah, we can just do a lot. There's a lot of stuff we can do here. Okay, so he gives us this. This game sh should be basically over at this point. There's nothing my opponent can do from here. So we'll queue up another one, and we'll play a couple more. Yeah, this game's over. Back to this one. Oh, is this game over too? This game is also over. Perfect. Alright, my opponent has a very scary team. Very, very scary team. However, I don't see a reason not to get webs up turn one. In comes Valiant. Probably a... This is almost certainly a Destiny Bond variant if he's going to lead with it. Either that or he just likes to lead with Valiant. Who knows? So yeah, Encore. I'm going to go into Treads. I'm going to Steel Beam here. He can set up on me if he wants, but I'm pretty sure his last move is Shadow Ball. <laughs> I'm pretty certain he does not have anything for me. I think. Pretty sure. I don't know. I'm like... I know that there is a set that's Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Encore, Combine, and he has not clicked a move, so... Seems to me that he might be locked in. He might not have it. Oh. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Get a little stealth rock up. I don't know what that's for, actually. Ah, whatever. I'll get him up anyways. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm hitting with. Like, this is going to be boots, surely. I mean, if not, then, you know, it is what it is. I have those up now. Um, I'm going to go into B and get a... Oh, I just realized I don't... I don't do anything with Moonblast, but you know what? We're clicking it. <laughs> I thought we were going to kill this, but clearly not. Clearly not. So they have Iron Head. Very interesting. Um, we can just go into Ogre Pond here. Or Darkrai. I like Darkrai. And just drop a Ice Beam. Perfect. Pod comes out. We're definitely going into Golden Go. And I'm going to just start plotting up. Uh, I mean, I could go Lando. Realistically. I don't want to get Poison though. Hmm. Okay, Dragonite comes out. I don't know why this is out. Maybe I go Token Black. Maybe that's better here. Because I don't want to lose my Ghost Resist. And he doesn't have removal, so Token Black's not super useful. Yeah, okay. Um, Just hopefully it's not the Fire Punch set, because if it is, we are in a sticky situation. Watch, there's going to be a Fire Punch coming off right now. Hopefully it's uh, Extreme Speed, Earthquake, um, DD Roost, or Ice Spinner at the scariest. But this very well could be Fire Punch. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. That is beautiful. We love to see that. Probably it can't touch Golden Ghost, so I think we need to keep our Balloon intact. In comes Cole. It reveals itself to be Boots. That means I do just Shadow Ball here, I think. The U turns out to break the balloon. That makes sense. This this variant of Pole is way less scarier than the Clear Body one. So that's that's good, at least. I think they're going to go D Knight here. And I'm absolutely going to break their multi scale and then go into Lando. Start pressuring it harder. Bodzar comes out. Okay, that's fine. That is so fine. All right. So he's going to Earthquake here, almost certainly, or get up a Hazard. Either way, Landorus is super safe. They should never Toxic on my Steel type in front of them. They easily could, um, but now we can sub up, and it is looking dire for our opponent here. They get Rocks up. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hit an SD. I think we're gonna hit an SD here, and we're gonna probably win the game because <laughs> we tear a fire on the pole. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna set up all the way if he lets us. We're going to greed as much as possible. Make sure we're behind his sub. Yeah, he still hasn't broken it. I'm going to SD again. And they're probably going to forfeit. <laughs> they're probably going to forfeit. As soon as I realize what's going on here. Alright, we get another sub up. Do we need one? Yeah, I mean, I'll get behind one for Gambit. And no other reason. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Do we kill Dragonite through multi-scale? We do. That's insane. <laughs> we do have 1,500 attack, to be fair. Like, that is a pretty big attack set. Okay, in comes Pult. 
on our sub. I'm going to go ahead and Terra and EQ this. I don't think there's any world they U-turn here. I think they always try to burn me or just get damage. Paralyzed could be annoying, but I don't think it'd be a game ender unless we got like super full para. But basically, if we if we kill this Dragapult, we're like looking really good with Darkrai and uh, Ogre Pond anyways. Okay, that is scary. Infiltrator Dragon Darts. Almost was the end of me there, but uh, this should be the end of the game. I think between Extreme Speed and Sucker Punch, they can kill me. However, um, they have to give up one of those. And I don't think they'll have enough left to win the game. Alright, so we're just going to drop an Earthquake on his Extreme Speed. That is fine. And I'm just going to Earthquake because if they... Yeah, yeah, they don't have enough left to, to win the game. Alright, let's do one more battle. Let's do one more. I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling the win streak. Alright, very scary team that my opponent has, yet there's no removal, so no punish to leading Rebombi and getting webs up. I mean, this Pokemon's like kind of annoying. We are able to get webs up and then break the Sash or the Sturdy, which is nice. Um, we're losing our Dragon Immunity. We have two resists, which is fine, I think. Um, I'm going to go into... Shofu and get rocks as well. And then Steel Beam out. So we have two suicide leads. You know, it'd be like that sometimes. But I really like the position it puts us in. So we're going to Steel Beam here. And hopefully this connects. Perfect. Cornerstone is dead. And uh, yeah, I'm liking our spot right now. They can go ahead and Grassy Glide me. That is fine. I don't want to give up Balloon on Golden Go yet. Oh! Nice! It's Leech Sheet, okay. I don't know if it'd have Grassy Glide as well. I think I'll just go into Golden Go and Shadow Ball. That does let Heatran in to um, Magma Storm. Which is something this team... Okay. That is... That was an interesting turn of events. Let's just say that. Yeah, Heatran can come out and Mag Magma Storm me. But, um, we'll have to see how that goes. Okay. This is fine. Do I save Golden Go? I don't think it does a ton for me here, I'll be honest. Okay, so this is dead. This is just a dead Pokemon. Perfect. Dragapult being gone. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> I've said that so much, I feel like. Oh my god. The brain rot. Alright, this might not even kill me. It probably does. It definitely does, but we'll see. We'll get our chip on Heatran for sure. Fire Blast. Alright, that'll that'll smoke me for sure. Um I'm perfectly fine with going Landers and subbing up, I think. Because I think he won't stay in. Or do I like having Dark Ryan more? He hasn't Terrid. Yeah, I'll go Landers. Is Terra SD bad? But I do think he'll tear a Heatran here. We can just sub once. We'll sub once and scout. Fire Blast. Alright. Earthquake. Raw. Hopefully he doesn't tear on now. Okay, perfect. He's probably going to go for a Gambit endgame here. And he could probably get it. I'm not going to lie. He could probably get it with what I have left. Deal with it. Um, I do think I will tear here. Because I am fashionless. Yeah, no, he won't have enough resources left if I'm if I play like this. Okay, that's bad. All right, that's not good. That is not good. I think it's still winnable as long as he doesn't DD. Yeah, because Ogre Pond always lives one, and we can go into Ogre Pond and we can cudgel. And hopefully he just gives us this perfect. Oh, I lost. I think I actually lost. I think. Wow, cudgel didn't kill. I should have power whiffed. That is heartbreaking. Oh no. Yeah, because extreme speed probably puts us in range of Gambit Sucker. That is that is so sad. That's like banded too. Oh, that's so sad. I mean, maybe he doesn't have it, right? We'll definitely just go ahead and click it. Man. Yeah, there it is. Wow. So what is that? Like, max HP... I was playing too fast. 
I mean, it is what it is. Uh, Dragonite had... I don't know how much health Dragonite had left. He was Terranormal. I'm gonna do the calc here. Whoops. Terranormal. He was max HP. Yeah, I mean... Let's say... Where's his HP number at? I mean, we might have to calc this manually, actually, because the game's over. Whatever. I think it was a roll, and I think I lost out on the roll. Man, alright. I mean, it's probably fine for the suspect. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching. Remember to subscribe if you enjoyed. Check out my RMT, please, please, please. And, uh, yeah, see ya.